Hello there. To install Automatic 11.11 on WSL2, search for Turn Windows Features On or Off. Open the panel and scroll down to a virtual machine platform and tick the box. Next, find Windows Subsystem for Linux and check the box. Click on OK. Windows Features will prompt you to restart your computer. Save everything and click Restart now. After your computer has rebooted, open Command Prompt with Administrator Privileges, type in WSL-Set-Default-Version 2. To see the available Linux distributions, type WSL-List-Online. Install Ubuntu with the command WSL-Install-D Ubuntu. This will open a shell controlling Ubuntu. Type in a new username and confirm the password you entered. As you enter the password, no letters will be displayed. Just hit enter when you're done typing your password and confirm it. To install Stable Diffusion, open the web browser and search for Generative AI WSL2. Open the GitHub link. This is a repository that contains the commands for an automatic installation of various AI applications. Scroll down to the Stable Diffusion web UI. You can either copy this link manually or just click the box and click the copy action to the right. I highly suggest you to read which commands the script executes. Paste the curl command into the WSL2 prompt and hit enter. Confirm the installation with your user password. During the installation it may seem like it is stuck. I check the task manager to see if it is downloading something. Check the utilization of the ethernet for that. Because I have only 8GB of total system RAM, the installation failed the first time. If you have the same error, you can fix it by increasing the swap file size for WSL2. To do that, open up the Windows Explorer and go to the home path directory. Turn on file extensions, click view, show, file name extensions. Create a new text document and call it .wslconfig. The file has a very specific syntax. I've put the link to the documentation of the file in the description. Use the square brackets and type WSL2 and increase the memory size to 5 GB. You can set this to whatever you want. I'll increase the swap file size to 12 GB. I'll save the file and restart the PC. If you're still installing Stable Diffusion, just wait for it to either crash or finish. After the script executes everything successfully, it will show the web UI URL. Copy it, I'll mark it and use Enter to copy it. I'll just prompt it to see if it works. The generation progress is displayed in the WSL2 prompt. To improve your GPU performance, you may use command line arguments. This way the images are generated way quicker. Open up the Windows Explorer, click on the Linux file system, click on Ubuntu, navigate to the home directory, your username and the stable diffusion web UI directory. Scroll down to the file web UI user. Right click it and choose open with notepad. Search for command line argument, remove the hashtag in front of the word export. These are the arguments that work best for my GTX 1060. I'll show you how to benchmark your GPU and compare to the performance of other people. Save it and restart the UI. Go into the WSL2 prompt and Ctrl C the application. Change directory into the stable diffusion web UI directory. Start the web UI with dot slash web UI dot sh. To see the performance of your GPU, go to the extensions tab, click on available, click on load from, search for system, click on install, click on installed, check that the extension is there, click on apply and restart UI. As soon as it's ready, you'll notice the system info tab. Click on it. Here you can see a lot of information regarding your system and the libraries you have installed. Scroll down a bit and click on Run Benchmark. 
I'll choose the extensive benchmark. This way I can see at which batch size my GPU performs the best. I can use the best performing batch size for all my generations. You can even set a specific model if you want to test another model, not just the standard one. After it is done, it will show the benchmark record. In the performance column, you will see various numbers. It starts at batch size 1 and goes on to 2, 4, 8 and 16. It measures the iterations per second. The higher the value, the better. Just click on Submit Results. It will show that it submitted one record. Click on Link to Online Results just below the button. It will open the database. Here you can search for your GPU model and see how your GPU stacks up. In the Performance column, it will show the performance value. If there are three numbers, they benchmarked for batch sizes 1, 2, 4. At five numbers, they ran the benchmark for the sizes 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. If there's just one number, they run it for the batch size of 1. In the optimization column, you can check which arguments they used. In the model column, you can see the model. If you are interested how much space your WSL2 machine takes up, navigate to the user profile variable, backslash app data, backslash local, backslash packages, find the canonical folder, that is the name of the company that owns Ubuntu, click it and click the local state folder. There's a virtual file. That is the file system of the WSL2 machine. You can see the size there. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. Bye.